while it's very important for you to have your own technique, it's equally important for you to know the math behind. Let's learn the box method when factoring quadratic expressions where A is greater than 1. The box method is one of the unique methods that could factor out quadratic expressions just like this. This method involves three steps. Step I, we are to duplicate the steps in the AC way method. Step double I, we need to come up with this box or table where we place the coefficients. And step triple I, we are going to use common monomial factoring per column and row to get the intended binomials. To start with, let's duplicate the first two steps of ACWay method. A times C is negative 6, and let's look for the factors of it which could result to the same B coefficient which is 5. Then we have positive 6 and negative 1. Step double I is to have this table where we are going to change A to the given which is 2 and C which is negative 3. The two coefficients earlier will be placed to complete this table. Step triple I is to look for common factors per column and row. Let's start with this row. The common monomial factor for this is actually 2x. For this next row, the common monomial factor of this is negative 1. Now we're done with the rows, let's proceed to the columns. As for the columns, the factor for this or the common factor is x. And for the final pair of coefficients here, we have the common monomial factor which is positive 3. We will then use these four common monomial factors to come up with our two binomials. The first binomial is where we combine the two factors 2x and minus 1, while the second will use x and plus 3. Hence, the factor of 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 using the box method is the pair of the binomial 2x minus 1 and x plus 3. How about if our quadratic expression is given like this? Using the same box method, let's have this process. Step i, a z way is negative 12 and the factor should be negative 6 and positive 2 which would result to b when added. Then let's add this table where we are going to change the values of a to the given which is 3 and c which is negative 4. Placing the two coefficients earlier, we have now this table. Then we look for the factors per row and column to look for the factors which result to binomials later on. We have here 3x and the second row will have positive 2. Again, we are using common monomial factoring. As for this column, the common factor is just x while for the last column, the common factor is negative 2. Using all of these four coefficients or common factor, we have this pair of binomials. 3x plus 2 times x minus 2. But what must be the math or the reason behind this box method? The reason or the math behind this is simply the acknowledgement of the common algebraic factors. Let's use the first given earlier and we know that the AC needs positive 6 and negative 1 to complete this. We are going to use these coefficients 
to separate the middle term. After that, we could group them into two pairs of terms. Here, we are just simply going to take the common factors for each pair. For the first, you have 2x. Take it out. In short, your new term or your new expression would be 2x times the quantity x plus 3. Following the same process for the second term, the common monomial factor is negative 1. And when it is factored out, notice what happens to the sign because negative 1 is there, ready? The remaining binomial is x plus 3. Now we have noticed that we have common binomial expressions per group of terms to which we can factor out and will give us the product of the binomial x plus 3 and the remaining coefficients per pair of terms which is the quantity 2x minus 1. If we are to cover the first part of this, we could see that in this group of terms, they are just actually the same factors that were resulted using the box method earlier. And by factoring the x plus 3, we resulted to the same pair of binomial expressions which could result to the given quadratic expressions. It's just that they are rearranged, but no worry because multiplication is commutative. Notice again that what we have used here to come up with the two binomials are just the factors that were resulted or similar factors that were resulted in using the box method. Similarly, for the next given quadratic expression, we could also determine that the reason behind the box method earlier or the results of the box method are the understanding of the common algebraic factors. Using the AC way, you have negative 6x and plus 2x and you have these two pairs of terms. Factoring out the common monomial factor per pair, the first one is 3x, moving it out, you will be having an expression which is the product of the common factor 3x and the remaining terms after factoring which is x minus 2. Doing the same thing for the next pair, the common factor is just 2 or positive 2, move it out, you will have this next pair or next expression after factoring out 2. Now, we have common binomial expression x minus 2 and when we move that out, what remains would be the coefficients or the terms 3x and positive 2 which could be paired to come up with another binomial which is 3x plus 2. If we again are to cover the first step and this result earlier using the box method, we could see that for this group of terms, they are just the same common factors earlier using the box method and that the result after the understanding of common algebraic factors is similar to what we had using the box method. This shows that the math behind the box method is simply the understanding of the common algebraic factors. This is the math behind the box method when factoring quadratic expressions where A is greater than 1. Hello everyone, please watch out for more Math Behind videos.